Exodus 33. Glory to God. Mm. He's still recalibrating the house. Mm. God is recalibrating the house. Glory to God. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing, but drop down to verse 14. I want you to take this with you. And he said, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. And he said unto him, if thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. For wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken. For thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thee by name. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. Show me your glory. Just for a few moments, I want to talk about when the glory comes. And you just say that when the glory comes. You don't have to get up, baby. You can take your time. This is what we do. When the glory comes. I want you to write this down. The Hebrew word for glory, one, is kabod, kabod. And it means the weight of God. It means the splendor of God, the abundance of God. The honor of God. I want you to put it in your phone, your iPad. I want you to take some notes. The splendor of God, the abundance of God, the honor of God. Another Greek word, a Greek word is doxa, D-O-X-A, where we get the word doxology. You know, y'all don't know what that is. You know, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. With my Baptist people, as it was in the beginning. And now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Look at these babies. We sing that every Sunday. <laughs> Praise God from whom y'all know that I'm a all blessings flow. All right, all right. Y'all sound good. All right, all right. That's called a doxology. It's a doxology. It means a song of praise, a song of dignity, splendor, a song that explains the brilliance of God. It gives fame to God, honor to God. It speaks of his reputation, doxa. So we have kabod, doxa. And then another Hebrew word, shekinah, shekinah. It means the dwelling of his glory. You don't have to say shekinah glory because you're just saying glory, glory. Shekinah means glory. Shekinah and glory. Shekinah. The Shekinah is here. Yeah. It means the dwelling, the settling, the divine presence in the world. Glory is the essence of his presence. Glory is the atmosphere of heaven. When the glory comes, it means that the atmosphere of heaven has hit the earth. And we are on earth, but everything that is in heaven is on the earth. The heaven is open and the atmosphere of heaven is in the room. The glory, it is the visible, tangible manifestation of the presence of God. The glory, it is the place where sickness is illegal. It is the place where disease is illegal. It is the place where death is illegal. It is the place where Satan's power is illegal. Somebody shout the glory, the glory. The glory transforms you. You cannot encounter the glory and stay the same. We are changed into his image and we are changed from glory to glory. You, are, you can never get bored with God. There's always a level of glory you've never touched, you've never tasted, you've never experienced. You're getting bored with church, but you're not getting bored with glory because there's a ram in God you've never seen before. And every time we touch glory, we're changed, we're transformed. Somebody shout, when the glory comes, your needs will be met in the glory. 
You know it. Paul says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches. Where? Come on. In glory by Christ Jesus. Every need will be met in the glory. In the glory, miracles will happen. In the glory, there is no struggle. In the glory, there is no fight. The purpose of worship is not to sing good songs, but the purpose of worship is to enter into the glory of God. If we have worship and there is no glory, the worship did not get the result. The result of worship is glory in the house. Come on, how many of y'all want the glory? We have settled for light shows and smoke machines. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I like it. But if ain't no glory with the smoke, it's a waste of time. We have settled for entertainment. We have settled for giving people what they like so they can come to church. But we forgot to give them what God requires. Church is not to make you feel good. Church is not to enjoy yourself. Church is to bring glory to God. Matter of fact, sometimes you ought to leave church mad. Sometimes you ought to leave church angry. If you leave church happy every Sunday, you're in the wrong church. The word ought to make you so mad that you say, I ain't never going back there again. The word ought to expose your stuff. The word ought to challenge you. The word ought to make you uncomfortable. When you're in the glory, it changes everything about you. Somebody shout when the glory comes. God says the latter glory shall be greater than the former glory. I want to give you these words. You're glory carriers. Somebody shout, I'm a glory carrier. It means when I come in the room, something shifts. I am carrying the weightiness, the rank, the power of God. When I walk in the bank, something shifts. When I go to work, something shifts. When I walk in the marketplace, something shifts. The glory is not just for the sanctuary. The glory is for the marketplace. The glory is for your job. The glory is for your family. The glory will affect everything around you, everywhere you go somebody shout I'm carrying something I'm carrying glory I'm carrying glory somebody shout I'm a glory carrier I want to give you this I'm a glory releaser not only do you have the power to carry the weight of glory the priests had to carry the ark of the covenant on their backs the weight of glory but you have the authority and the power to release glory I have called you to go to dead cities I have called you to go to dry cities and release the glory of God I have called you to go to empty places and release the glory of God I have called you to go to broken families and release the glory of God somebody shout I am a glory releaser not not only do I carry it but I release it I don't have to speak in tongue to release I can wave my hand and walk and something will shift and something will happen I can walk in a place and it shifts tell you you better learn how to release the glory you can release it you can release it you carry it but you must release it and then I'm a glory shifter come on say you have the power to shift things with the glory God has called you to shift nations with the glory he has called you to shift those out of poverty into prosperity shift those out of sickness into healing shift those out of heaviness into peace shift those out of brokenness into deliverance you are a glory shifter you have the dominion you have the authority and you have the power to shift things. Come on, somebody shout. Everything around you is getting ready to shift by the glory of God. Come on, say I'm a glory shift. All right, I want you to say I'm a glory producer. Are y'all with me? Are y'all with me? I'm not used to this neither, so let's go together. I'm a glory carrier. I'm carrying glory. Hallelujah. I'm a glory releaser. I have the power to release the glory of God. I'm a glory shifter. I can change and interrupt things and upset things by the glory of God. Woo, hallelujah. And then God told me to tell you, you're a glory producer. Somebody shout, you're a glory producer. God says everything you do in this season is going to happen in the glory. What the doctors couldn't heal is going to be healed in the glory. 
what the bank couldn't approve is going to be approved in the glory. What your education couldn't accomplish is going to be accomplished in the glory. What your credit couldn't do is going to be done in the glory. I need you to look at somebody and say, not by power, nor by might, but by the Spirit of the Lord. God sent me to tell you that everything you produce in this season, it will be produced by the glory of God. I know you were denied. I know they told you no. I know they said it wasn't possible. But I hear the Holy Ghost say my glory is on it now. Apply again. Try again. Do it again. You got something on you. You cannot be denied. You got something on you. They cannot refuse you. Heaven has sent approval on your project. Heaven has sent approval on your project. And everything you do shall be done in the glory. I need you to touch two people and tell them it's going to happen in the glory it's going to happen in the glory you're going to be debt free and they're not going to understand how you did it it's going to happen in the glory your mind is being restored in the glory your family is being delivered in the glory you don't need them sleeping pills but you're going to sleep in the glory Somebody shout the glory has hit your life and when the glory comes everything has to change everything has to shift everything will be adjusted to accommodate your presence everything will be changed to help you to assist you angels are being released on your behalf because of the glory of the Lord somebody shout God send the glory clap your hands and praise him clap your hands and praise him y'all ain't praise him clap your hands and praise him clap your hands and praise him Clap your hands and praise him. Clap your hands and praise him. Clap your hands and praise him. They gonna try to understand how you did it. Tell your neighbor and they shall know that the Lord has helped you. And they shall know that heaven has favored you. And they shall know that you're under supernatural power, supernatural strength. Cause can't nobody do what you have done unless God was with them. I need y'all to shout. This is your year to do exceeding abundantly above all you can ask or think. I feel to tell you, this is your year for mega. Look at your neighbor and say, I prophesy mega. M-E-G-A. The Lord is going to bless you with a mega anointing. It means big, extremely large, huge, not just more than enough, but too much. Tell your neighbor you're moving out of the season of not enough. The glory is pulling you out of the season of just enough. The glory is pulling you out of the season of more than enough. And this is your season of too much. Too much money, too many doors, too much favor, too much help, too much, too much. Wave at your neighbor. Say, we're in the glory now. We're in the glory now. It's overflow. It's extra. It's too much. The Bible says in Exodus chapter 36, they bought so much money to the house of God that Moses had to tell them, don't bring no more it's too much too much wood too much marble too many supplies tell somebody get ready for the level of too much too much no room to hold it too much you're gonna need a storehouse 
too much for one person you're gonna need a team to handle it too much you're gonna need employees too much you're gonna need management too much you're gonna tell somebody the glory has pulled you into a dimension called too much mega huge big great doors somebody shout glory oh, glory i wish i had a holy ghost church say you're in the glory now anything can happen surgeries can be canceled in the glory of god doctors reports can be shifted in the glory of god miracle signs and wonders tumors will die tumors will melt in the glory habits will break you don't need that weed habits will break you don't need to get high y'all don't wanna have no church but i came to tell you he's a habit breaker he's a habit breaker he's a habit breaker and he's breaking habits in the glory shout glory just two more minutes lift your hands and say when the glory comes everything will change when the glory comes tell your neighbor don't quit the glory is coming don't give up the glory is coming don't throw in the towel the glory is coming here comes the glory here comes the glory here comes the glory here comes the glory. I'm in the Bible, y'all don't even know it. Here comes the glory. I want to just explain this to you. In Exodus 33, God tells Israel, I bought you out of Egypt. I'm taking you into the promised land. I want y'all to hear this. He says, I have to keep my promise to you. I have to keep my covenant with you. I'm going to take you to a land flowing with milk and honey. So I need to get ready for milk and honey. So I need to God's going to give you some milk. I'm in the scripture. Look at him and say, honey is on the way. Milk means you're going to be fruitful. Milk means you're going to be fertile. Milk means you're going to have nourishment. Honey means you're going to have sweetness. I decree this is a sweet year. It's a fruitful year. And it's a sweet year. Tell somebody milk and honey, milk and honey. Bountiful resources, a thriving life. A rich life. So listen to what God says. Check it out when you get home. Lord, somebody just received it over there. You better praise him, girl. Y'all help Fuchsia dress. Praise him. You better praise him over there for milk. You better praise him for honey. Somebody shout fruitful and sweet. Say, I prophesy the next six months of your life shall be fruitful and sweet shall glory I feel money in here I feel wealth in here I feel abundance in here I see your bills paid six months in advance the glory has rebuked your struggle you're not going to live paycheck to paycheck. I prophesy to everybody on YouTube. I prophesy to everybody on Facebook. I prophesy to everybody under the sound of my voice. You will never live from paycheck to paycheck anymore. The glory says fruitful and sweet. I need y'all to shout if you receive it. Open your mouth and shout. 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 Shout! Wow! What kind of church is this? I feel Jesus in this place. Good 
God, something has changed. God, my God, I feel like running around in here. Hey, glory to God. Glory to God. Tell your neighbor, get ready to possess. Get ready to purchase property in your name. Get ready, get ready, get ready. God is not just going to do it for the pastor and not do it for you. The anointing that's on him is on you. The oil that's on him is on you. The power that's on him is on you. Tell your neighbor you're going to possess houses. You're going to buy the house in your name. I need y'all to shout in the name of Jesus. You shall possess. You're going to purchase things debt free. All right. What's wrong with y'all? What kind of church is this? Tell your neighbor it's a glory house. Look behind you and say it's a house of glory. And anything can happen. Blinded eyes can open. Deaf ears can open. Anything can happen in a house of glory. All right.